we have come down to Drift Mitsuri this weekend. And nearly everybody will be stripping their cars down sort of after this event. So it's top level mayhem while everybody's got a car that still works. Here at the Matsuri event, uh, they run three different sections of track, so you can do your backwards entries on a big massive hairpin. Uh, they have a circuit that's really, really good fun. Uphills, undulations, downhills. Then we have a third track up here on the right um, that's kind of really fast. You can get the third, fourth gear up there. I'm not really looking at the speed too much, but I reckon it's sort of 100 mile an hour wheel speeds anyway. Everything's here to give you all the practice you need to try and put yourself into competition as well. It's an open pit lane so you're out with all kinds of drivers that you don't know what they're going to do in front of you or behind you. And when you're on a track like Anglesey, the risks are a lot higher because there's higher speeds, you've got a lot of tyre walls, you've got the Armco and because you're running those high speeds you've got to be committed. This is fast, sideways, exactly what I want to do. I drive an R33 Skyline. GTST, still standard engine with a power FC and it's running about 440 brake. It's a BMW E34, it's got the M5 V8, we've done a loads of development on it, as I said the full front end's all S14 converted to a steering rack away from the steering box, uh, so it handles beautifully, he's cut absolutely everything out of the car, you know, it weighs less than a new Fiesta, but it's got 400 brake and, and God knows how much torque. The car I've actually had over 12 years now, I bought it as a nice, nice road car. Found drifting and it's just progressed from there and there. It's gone through loads and loads of changes. It's not much of the bodywork left is original. Roll cage lightened as much as we can, so we cut out most of the metal work and replaced it with fiberglass. We put the radiator in the back just to help uh, balance out the weight and it actually has a Toyota engine here, one JZ GT, pushing about 520 brake horsepower. The style aspect of drifting is, is super important. It's, you know, for me, I'd say it's about 50% of, of you know, the, the spectacle. Nobody wants to see a, you know, a crashed up car with wings hanging off it or you know, everything all broken on it. Everyone wants to see nice cars. The benefit of these events is obviously because it's open to everybody, you get such a, a, a wide variety of cars. And, you know, I think it shows just how you know, how far drifting has progressed in the UK, the, the spectrum of cars that we've got now, you know, there's everything from, I've seen in Anglia, you know, right up to the top spec um, JDM cars, you know, the 800 brake things. Lots of variety, not just pro drivers, there's all the semi-pro drivers and there's some really cool cars. You really see, you know, what people put their passion into, like really cool wheels, decking their car to the floor and just, Having fun drifting and looking cool at the same time, that's basically what it's all about. Been invited to do the, the nighttime driving. I think it's going to be absolutely terrifying. Like, really fast and not being able to see anything.
madness, loads of cars on track. The headlights are not very good in my car anyway, so hopefully this year my light bar is going to help me and we're going to put on a good show. What we all started drifting for was have fun and it, it's great to come to an event here and just let your hair down and just go for it, you know? Thanks for watching, we really hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you want to watch our next film before it goes up on YouTube, you can click here to watch it over on carfection.com right now for absolutely free. It's on the Dodge Viper ACR and it's pretty spectacular. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time.